Tragedy avoided in a Massachusetts town. An Uber oh. driver swerves to avoid what he thinks is an animal in the road. Well, it's not, obviously. It's a person down there. It was an underage college student who was extremely drunk and passed out right there on the road. Los Angeles' homeless crisis and how now it is crippling businesses all across our city. NBC4's John Caddy's Climax shows us how streets of shame are forcing downtown businesses now to shut their doors. Welcome to L.A. This is probably not what the city wants people to see around the country, and yet we're front page news in other cities as well, talking about typhus, talking about the homeless crisis, and the people we spoke to today who live and work in downtown Los Angeles say it is only getting worse. I'm sorry, we don't have any change. This is Julian Andre, a Romanian immigrant who's worked in the restaurant business in downtown L.A. for almost 20 years. His own shop, Strata, has been on Fifth Street between Main and Los Angeles streets for a little more than two years now, and he's just about the only business left inside the historic King Edward Hotel building. All the businesses around us uh, shut down. A lot of uh, people just decide to move out of Los Angeles, this area, uh, downtown, because I guess it is too consuming to see this kind of environment on a daily basis. He's talking about what he says is the sad state of affairs downtown. Homelessness, and more so mental illness, he says, knocks on his door every day. I personally call 911, I don't know dozens of times. I can't just blame the city. I mean, this is this is an all-hands-on-deck issue. Blair Beston is with the Business Improvement District in L.A.'s historic core. She's also on the Oversight Committee to make sure your tax money from Measure HHH goes to the right programs. She says affordable housing gets a lot of attention, but the bigger problem is the lack of services for the mentally ill who get into that housing. We're just not addressing it, and it, it is the most difficult subsect of the population, but it's also the one that's in the community's face every day. It's sad. For Andre, he doesn't want to leave this area of downtown. He believes he provides a needed service for those who live and work nearby, even as his own customers question how long he can hold on. <laughs> I'm asked that question all the time. So now the question is, where do we go from here? We're going to learn a lot more about the homeless situation in Los Angeles over the next few days. Tomorrow, the county is expected to release its latest numbers on the homeless crisis, how many people are actually experiencing homelessness, and then from there, move forward. Reporting in downtown L.A., I'm John Caddy's Klimak, NBC4 News. NBC4 is committed to covering the homeless crisis with our Streets of Shame campaign. We want to hear your story ideas. You can email them to tips at NBCLA.com.